Now I'm going to show you the algebraic way to find the equation of the line um, in the y equals mx plus b form uh, if you're given two points or the point in the slope. So first, something like this. If I just say, what is the equation in y equals mx plus b form of the line that goes through these two points? You could always go back and graph those two points. And I actually suggest it's not a bad idea to check your work by making a graph of these so that at least you know if your slope is the correct sign, positive or negative, and if it's crossing the y-axis at the um, approximate place where it should be. But we're going to be doing this algebraically. What I'm doing now is strictly just to check my work when I'm done. So I'm going to go to the point 6, 4, over 6, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then the point negative 2, 8, so left 2, up 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and then I'm going to be connecting points. And so this is the graph that I, or the line that I'm looking at. My slope should be negative because it's going downhill. And my y-intercept should be somewhere up here. That was 8, so it should be somewhere. I can't tell if my line is perfectly straight, if it's exactly at 7 or it's somewhere around 7. Okay, so we have a few benchmarks here to be able to tell how close we are. So what we're going to do is take those two points. And first we need to find the slope. Okay, we've practiced that before. That's change in y over change in x. So I'm going to take my... Uh, y minus y over x minus x in whichever order you want to go. So I'm going to do left to right, 4 minus 8 over 6 minus negative 2. So y minus y over x minus x. Okay, so 4 minus 8 is negative 4. 6 minus negative 2 is really 6 plus positive 2, which is 8. Negative 4 over 8 reduces to negative 1 half. So my slope is negative 1 half. So here's what I've got so far. I know part of my equation, but I don't know, because I know the slope, but I don't know the y-intercept. So here's where you're going to have to pick one of these points, and I'll show you that it works with either point. It doesn't matter. Just pick one of the points and plug in the x value where x is and the y value where y is, and then you already have your slope, and then you have to solve for b. So I'm going to use the point 6, 4. So y is 4, m is 1, negative 1 half, x is 6. A little confusing because 6 and b kind of look the same, but this is y up here equals 1 half, which was the slope, times x, which is 6, plus b. So negative 1 half times 6 is negative 3. 4 equals negative 3 plus b. I'm trying to solve this for b, so I'm going to get b by itself. I need to add 3 to both sides. I get 7 equals b, and then mm -hmm. I can replace that in my equation y equals negative one half x plus seven it matches what i thought it would match and it does actually meet at seven up there right here is actually at seven so that's what it looked like it should be so that is correct now i could have used the other point if i wanted to just to show you that it wouldn't matter if i did the point negative two eight instead then i would have y is eight equals negative one half times x is negative two plus b this time I have negative 1 half times negative 2, which is positive 1. 8 equals 1 plus b. Subtract 1 from both sides, and I get 7 equals b. Same thing I got when I used the other point. So just pick whichever point you want to, or like I always um, think it's a good idea to do it both ways, to check your work. Just like I said, it might be a good idea to graph it first, to check your work. Um, it's never a bad thing to do. take an extra you know, one minute to do something to make sure that you get it right. Okay, so that was an example of how to find the uh, slope and the y-intercept, therefore the equation in y equals mx plus b form, if you're given two points. Okay, let's see, what about this one? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and find my slope, my y minus y over x minus x, so 3 minus 2 over 4 minus 0. 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 0 is 4. So I have y equals 1 fourth x plus b. Then I can go ahead and 
pick a point and plug it into the equation. So I'm going to use x is 4 and y is 3. So I have 3 equals 1 fourth times 4 plus b. That's y was 3 here. Slope was 1 fourth. x is 4. Solve for b. 1 fourth of 4 is 1. So 3 equals 1 plus b. Subtract 1 from both sides. I get 2 equals b. So my equation is y equals 1 fourth x plus 2. Now, did I really have to do all that work? In this case, the answer is no. If, I, if you take a second to look at the points that I give you, notice that in this problem, x was already 0. And one of the things I've talked about a lot before is when x is 0, that's the y-intercept. So I already knew the y-intercept right there. So I didn't really have to do any of that work. All I needed to do was calculate the slope, y equals 1 fourth x plus 2, and I was done. But I did it all just to show you that it worked anyway. But look at your points first to verify that you don't have to do as much work in that case. All right, now sometimes kids get so used to having to do all that work that um, they don't realize that what if I just gave you the slope and one point? So what a lot of students want to do is they want to equate the y value with the y intercept. I see this all the time. They'll say y equals one third x plus six. No, that is not the y intercept. And the reason that's not the y intercept is because that's not zero. If that if, if the, the x value is not zero, then that's not the y intercept. That's just the y value of one of the points. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and graph this. To see an approximate y value, I mean y intercept to see if we can estimate it first. So my slope was one third and my point was four, six. So I'm gonna go over four, up six. And then a slope of one third is up one over three. I'm also gonna go down one over three, down one over three. Okay, so this is my graph. I went over 4, up 6. That was my first point that I gave you. And then a slope of down 1 over 3, down 1 over 3. If I just kept going up, that's further and further away from the y-intercept. But my y-intercept is right there, definitely between two numbers. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, between 4 and 5, but I really can't tell exactly what it is. So we definitely know that, if we go back to this, it's not 6. That's not the y-intercept. Okay, so we're going to have to plug it into this equation. y equals mx plus b. My y value is 6. y value is 6. My slope is 1 third. My x value is 4. So I have y equals m times x plus b. Now I do my math here. 1 third times 4 is 4 thirds. 4 thirds is the same thing as 1 and 1 third, but at this point, if you want to use a calculator, that's fine. I'm going to subtract 4 thirds from both sides. So really, I'm doing 6 minus 1 and 1 third. If you want to do that on a calculator, you can, but 6 minus 1 is 5. So this is going to be 4 and 2 thirds is going to be my answer. So my y-intercept is 4 and 2 thirds. So my equation then is y equals 1 third x plus 4 and 2 thirds. And this is a really good example of why you should graph it to make sure that it makes sense, but also why you need to have an algebraic way of calculating this, because if you want that to be exact, you will never get that exactly on a graph like this. But I could tell 4 and 2 thirds, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, it's between four and five, so four and two thirds makes sense. And I did not just use the y value as my y-intercept. Okay, so that is how to find the um, equation given two points or a point and a slope. Just be careful that you're doing everything in the correct order and that maybe you're not doing as much work as you need to. If I give you the intercept point, just recognize that as x equals zero.